can just leave it at the door. <laughs> Can't do that. I'm supposed to see OD. Mm -hmm. Like that. And besides, you and I have to have a little talk. About Kim. Top of the news tonight, a rail disaster. Well, At Devil's Tower, Wyoming, a train oh, loaded with a dangerous chemical gas oh, went off the rails and has forced the widest area evacuations okay, in the history of these controversial Let's army see. rail shipments. Whenever you want me to. much of the Tomorrow surrounding area has been closed to the public for three weeks for renovations in the things. National Park there. We go now I'm to Charles Donna be... in Wyoming for a live report. Yes, I am. The Army and National Guard units are supervising the evacuation. It's I estimated that dump. from 35 okay. to 50,000 people no are affected. Thing. The families it was that a have been joke. dislocated have been assured that the danger will be over within 72 hours. We've seen Ronnie, the Army here, the Corps of Engineers, and the Chemical Engineers. Anything you want, I'll do. For how long? Well, all of toxic you? concentration is down to 50 parts no. per million. No, Ronnie, the danger will be I, I, I want to talk about this in person. Residents will be back in their own this is not, by the we weekend. can't talk about this on the course, telephone. All right, in the area. Ronnie, what? Don't hang up, just don't. This means order your steak well done, Walter. Devil's Tower, Wyoming, was the first national monument erected in this country by Theodore Roosevelt in 1915. Thousands of civilian refugees are fleeing the area, spurred on by rumors that the seven tanker cars that overturned the Wakashi-Deal Junction were filled to capacity with GM nerve gas. In just a few minutes, we're going to be by annual surge of close to 400,000 vacationers. And fortunately, during this mishap, there have been no fatalities. forced to evacuate this area, which in a few minutes is going to become known as the hot zone, depending on the prevailing winds. But as it is, this is as close to the disaster as we've been allowed to get. Well, it is due to a strong prevailing north-south wind. Army chemical engineers in the Wyoming National are making every effort to both contain the leaking toxins and evacuate an area of almost 200 square miles. Everyone is being warned, stay out of the area. Everyone, please, stay out of the area. 